it's been one year since I bought my bike. I consider my KTM as a big part of my life. So in this video, I'll present you the one year ownership preview of my KTM Duke 200. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Welcome to Swam Vlog. So this is Swam here. So one year of buying this bike is completed. Uh, so I thought ki I'll share my ownership experience of uh, riding this beast. So the KTM Duke 200. I'll tell you seven uh, good points and seven bad points about this bike what I felt uh, during uh, this one year journey of riding this machine so first let's start with the good points so the first good point is that this bike is very powerful I mean uh, you can easily overtake the vehicle in front of you and it's quite uh, good to ride in the city because of the power you can uh, drive through uh, traffic and it's so powerful man this is the first point which you have to consider so the second good point about this bike is with, uh, for which most of the kit uh, for which most of the bikers shift to KTM is the exhaust note of this bike. The exhaust note is a bit powerful and a bit loud too, so definitely you will feel very good. Okay, more day. Are So the third good point about this bike is the less weight of this bike. So the dry weight of this bike is around 141 kg, so which uh, which will be very uh, much uh, beneficial for new riders and uh, also it has a single piece handlebar so the profit of single piece handlebar is that you can uh, cut through the traffic e uh, traffic easily and the weight of the handlebar is also less so it's very easy to drive uh, within the city limits the fourth point is obviously ktm also has a road presence because of the funky color and also the design of the overall design of the bike the bike uh, i mean uh, almost catches everyone eye and you will get an awesome public reaction that's for sure so the fifth good point about this bike is the LED indicators and the LED lights so uh, in case of other bike you can uh, the indicators are quite uh, less visible during the daytime but in case of KTM the indicators are LED so it is uh, very much uh, visible during the daytime during the rainy season during the night time obviously it is visible anytime you want sixth good point about this bike is obviously the brakes of this bike so it comes with a 300 millimeter disc brake at the front and a 280 millimeter disc brake at the rear which uh, both are from Bipre and these brakes are very good i mean uh, they help you to stop at a very less distance so it will uh, so in a uh, powerful bike like ktm you uh, always need a good brake so and the last but not the least is the instrument cluster i mean uh, i think this is uh, the one or 200 cc bike which provides a lot of information in this instrument cluster it provides you the actual fuel consumption the mileage of this bike the uh, distance it will travel in kilometers uh, it also miles per hour the clock the engine heat graph the engine fuel i mean fuel tank uh, capacity everything i mean the list just goes on so the, the good points were many uh, now we'll talk about some bad points about this bike which all uh, bikes have so the first bad point about this bike is obviously the mileage i mean uh, this uh, bike uh, i mean provides 25 kilometers per liter or 30 kilometers per liter i mean it provides very less mileage when i put uh, 100 rupees petrol it uh, uh, i mean hardly goes about 40 to 50 kilometers so obviously in the mileage part it is i mean the worst i think because the KTM engines heat up easily for that uh, might be the fuel consumption is more so so the second bad thing about this bike is non ABS so now as the rainy season is going on so in uh, this case if you apply your brakes very aggressively even though these brakes are very good but the uh, rear or the front tire will definitely slip which I'll show you right now so in this case you always need a ABS but uh, Bajaj does not, does not provide ABS, ABS in this bike because if uh, they will provide ABS in this bike, the price of the bike will be much higher. It will be like uh, nearly 2 lakhs. So that is the main reason why they are not providing ABS. But they should uh, at least give an optional ABS in this bike. So the third bad thing about this bike is obviously the pillion seat. The pillion seat of this bike is very small. I mean, just look at it. It's actually very small. So uh, yeah, the rider seat is uh, like okay for uh, but uh, the pillion seat is very small so it will be very 
I mean, when your mom or dad sits as a pillion, that will be a bit dangerous too. The fourth uh, bad point about this bike is the amount of heat produced. So, if you are a KTM rider, then you will definitely know the amount of heat produced by this bike. The fifth bad thing about this bike is uh, the suspension of the bike. So the suspension of the bikes are very hard. So, so in case of roads like Barampur, uh, where there are more potholes and more speed breakers, so you will definitely feel all the pressure here. I mean, this part. So, and the sixth bad thing about this bike is there is no one touch start. In case of Duke 250, Duke 390, uh, Duke, uh, I mean uh, RC200, RC390, all have a one touch start. Uh, what that actually means is you have to press just once to start this bike. Uh, but in case of Duke 200, you don't get a one touch start, you have to press it for like one to two seconds and uh, rev the bike uh, to start this machine. And the seventh bad thing was about this bike is the inaccurate uh, reading of the speedometer. Sometimes it will show that it will uh, go for another 50 km, but suddenly it will go uh, like uh, it will show that it will go 0 km. Again, uh, sometimes after it will show like it will go 70 km. So there are a bit of inaccurate reading in this bike. So, guys, this was all about the video. I think I justified all the reasons, uh, and I think I hope that all the KTM riders will agree to these points. So one year completed, very happy, no I mean major issues in this bike so far and love this bike and thank you guys. So do like, comment and say, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, um, and me signing off and this is my brother Amit Sahu. Bye bye, I'll see you in the next week with a great video. Thank you guys, bye bye. Hi and welcome to some vlogs. So bhai, aaj complete hua mera, aaj nahi This is the first point which I, which which you have to consider.